Once upon a time, there was a boy with an insatiable obsession for collecting bugs. He dreamt of catching them all and ventured on a journey that led to the creation of a universe we now know as Pokemon. Today, Pokemon stands as the largest video game franchise in history. But behind this colossal success, there were struggles, near financial ruin, and a mistake that could have erased the franchise entirely. Join us as we uncover the fascinating story of how Pokemon was born. But before we start, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it, and if you're not already subscribed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and enable notifications. We've got some fantastic content on the way, and we want you to be part of it. Let's rewind to August 28, 1965, when Satoshi Tajiri entered the world in the peaceful suburb of Machida, Tokyo. As a young boy, he was christened Dr. Bug by his peers, a title that echoed his unyielding passion for collecting insects. Satoshi's dream during those early years was to become an entomologist, a scientist devoted to the study of insects. His world revolved around the tiny creatures he captured. But just as the seasons changed, so did his interests evolve, mirroring the transformation of his hometown. As Satoshi transitioned into his teenage years, an intriguing shift occurred. His once beloved bug-catching nets were traded for something entirely different, arcade joysticks. The allure of video games beckoned him, and he spent countless hours in dimly lit gaming parlors. This newfound passion, while captivating, had its consequences. The siren call of video games led Satoshi to skip classes and nearly jeopardize his high school graduation. So deep was his devotion that one arcade establishment went so far as to gift him a Space Invaders machine for his home. Amidst this journey into the world of pixels and high scores, Satoshi's parents couldn't help but worry. They began to fear that their son had veered off the path of traditional success. Despite the detours in his academic life, Satoshi Tajiri never set foot inside a university. Instead, he opted for a two-year electronics program. His love for arcade games, however, never waned, and it served as the spark for an ambitious project. At the tender age of 17, inspired by the allure of arcade gaming, Satoshi embarked on a remarkable venture. He birthed Game Freak, a homemade arcade magazine that would take the gaming world by storm. This fan-driven magazine quickly attracted attention, and one individual in particular, an artist by the name of Ken Sugimori, saw its potential. This encounter would set the stage for a partnership that would redefine the gaming industry. Years of relentless dedication and tireless programming endeavors eventually led Satoshi and Ken to metamorphose Game Freak. No longer content with merely writing about games, they embarked on an audacious quest, game development. Their inaugural creation, Quinty, defied conventions. It wasn't just another puzzle game, it was the genesis of a new era in their journey. As Game Freak ventured deeper into the world of game development, fate guided them to the doorstep of the Nintendo Famicom, a pivotal moment in their narrative. It was here that their dreams would truly take flight. Soon enough, Game Freak's exceptional talents attracted the attention not only of Nintendo, but also other giants in the gaming industry. Their unwavering commitment to their craft was undeniable. In the midst of this whirlwind journey, Satoshi's childhood dream began to resurface. An idea began to take shape, an idea that would become the heart and soul of their future endeavors. It was a vision that fused his childhood passion for collecting creatures with the captivating allure of video games. A vision that would eventually lead to the creation of the Pokemon universe. The realization of Satoshi's grand vision hinged on a single, nerve-wracking moment. Pitching Pokemon to Nintendo. He feared that the executives at Nintendo might not grasp the enormity of the concept. However, fate had a different plan. Shigeru Miyamoto, the illustrious creator of Mario, not only comprehended Satoshi's vision, but also became his mentor and guiding light, steering him toward the path of greatness. The development of Pokemon was anything but a smooth journey for Game Freak. They encountered a trifecta of challenges that threatened to derail their ambitious project. Financial struggles, technical hurdles, and the painful loss of valuable team members. As the launch date of Pokemon drew near, doubts began to loom over its potential for success. The once mighty Game Boy had lost some of its shine in Japan. The odds seemed stacked against Pokemon, but Destiny had a different plan. 
Once unleashed upon the world, Pokemon proved to be an instant sensation, quickly ensnaring the hearts and minds of players across the globe. It was a phenomenon that would change gaming history. The triumph of Pokemon was not confined to video games alone. It triggered an explosion of merchandise, trading cards, an animated series that found its way into countless households, and a cinematic masterpiece that conquered the silver screen. In the blink of an eye, Pokemon had transcended gaming to become a cultural phenomenon deeply embedded in the hearts of millions. Yet the path to glory wasn't without its bumps. Pokemon, with its radiant success, also found itself entangled in a web of controversies. From the notorious seizure-induced episode of the animated series to claims of demonic influences, Pokemon faced its share of trials. However, as time marched on, Pokemon continued to evolve. It expanded into new realms with an ever-growing array of games, engaging spin-offs, and innovative experiences like the groundbreaking Pokemon Go, which encouraged players to step into the real world to catch them all. Pokemon Go, while facing its own set of challenges, made a triumphant return. It not only recaptured the hearts of players, but also achieved a remarkable milestone, breaking the $1 billion mark in annual revenue. The Pokemon trading card game 2 witnessed a resurgence in popularity, rekindling the excitement of collectors. Today, the legacy of Pokemon stands as an unrivaled titan in the entertainment industry. It reigns supreme as the highest grossing franchise in history, boasting a staggering $100 billion in sales. And at the heart of this magnificent journey stands Satoshi Tajiri, a legend whose vision transformed the world of gaming. If you enjoy this journey through the fascinating history of Pokemon, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring stories that shaped our world. Missed our previous captivating stories? Don't miss out. Click on the video on your screen and relive the tales that shaped history. Thanks for watching and see you next time.